Hey guys, today we're going to be showcasing the top three Mighty Miner decks to help you crush on ladder and just overall dominate your opponents. So let's get into it. So right off the bat, we have a double miner, like double miner, uh, mortar minion horde deck with like cycle cards and two spells. This deck is pretty good because you have the miners for offense and the mortar for the um, win condition. And overall, this deck should get you a lot of wins. You can do a lot of things with the miners and the bats and stuff like that. So let's see what we can do. All right, so right off the bat, let's do this. All right. All right I'm just gonna miner bats at the bridge, see what he has to counter. He has a goblin brother, it's just arrows. This was a okay, is he playing log bait? I think he might be playing log bait here. Let's go mighty miner. All right, let's wait till the princess gets to the bridge and we can spear goblins, perfect. All right. Cool, all right, Mighty Miner moving up. See if he can do any damage. Is he actually gonna let that go? Okay, that's a big problem. Okay, don't have a spell. Just don't have a spell. Let's place down Minion Horde. Just don't have a spell, please. Don't have a spell. Okay, okay, he has a wizard. All right, that's Miner. Hopefully we can take some damage. Okay, oh, that was perfect. Yep. Yep, that was perfect. All right, minions going into town, bro. Perfect. All right, it's just arrows. We're fine. Everything's fine. Yup. All right, I think we're all right. All right, just mortar at the bridge. Hopefully, we can get some damage. Let me get my fireball ready just in case he has anything that I can fireball, like a wizard. Okay. What's he got? Is he, is he letting that go? That's, has he given up? Please don't tell me he's given up. Don't give up. Please don't give up. No. I want to showcase this deck. Dang it. That sucks. Okay, well, he's given up. Let's just take his towers. Uh, that sucks, dude. I thought that was actually kind of good play. I mean, we were doing, we were doing really good, but just had to give up. All right. All right, well, I guess that was the first deck. Uh, now, I guess let's move on to the second one. All right, so this is the second deck I'm going to be showcasing today. It is a double minor, like, balloon Inferno Dragon. You got the Snowball in there for your spell, and you got Skeleton Dragons and Bats for support with the Bomb Tower in there. So, let's just see how it does. All right, so let's get into this battle. Alright, he goes with that. I'm gonna Inferno Dragon because that's literally the only thing I, ha I could have done. Um, Inferno Dragon takes care of that pretty nicely. Uh, let's see what he got to counter. We're gonna go Skeleton Dragons for support, as I said in the previous clip. Another for support. Okay, so he does. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we're just gonna Bomb Tower that. It's pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna Snowball that forward just so the tower can hit it too. Uh, I don't know if that was necessary though, but I really don't care. Um, so now I'm just going to save up, and then I'm going to go Minor Balloon on the tower. Hopefully that can get us some damage. All right, let's go Minor Balloon right now. He places an Elixir Pump. Okay, this is, yeah, this is definitely a beatdown deck. All right, he has a Bowler. Okay, does he not have anything for the Balloon? Oh, that, okay, that's Tower Down. If he doesn't have anything for the Balloon, that is Tower Down. Nice, all right. Yeah, as you can see, this deck will absolutely dominate you. Let's go with an Inferno Dragon to counter this bowler right here. Um, he plays a Mother Witch, which is kind of interesting. His deck's kind of weird, not gonna lie. Uh, let's just place a Bomb Tower for that. Yeah, so this deck will pretty much guarantee you the win if they don't have a good air counter for your balloon. Um... Okay, he places Expo. This is a very interesting and expensive deck. And Sparky. Oh my. This has to be at least 4.5 Elixir. Maybe even more. Like, freaking Three Musketeers, Elixir Pump, Expo, Ram Rider, and Sparky. This has to be like a 5.0 deck right here. 
All right, so we have our stuff coming up. All right, um, let's just go minor balloon on the other tower and uh, take this tower, I guess, because he doesn't sh seem to have any counters. And yeah, I feel like, I think he's just given up because he realized he doesn't have any counters. Anyway, that's the second guy who's given up on us today. I guess our decks just make opponents want to quit, which is kind of good for you guys, so you can climb up trophies. But uh, yeah, let's just um, let's just take this tower honestly, because there's really nothing else to do. And he's given up. All right, yeah, this should probably take out the three towers. And yeah, let's just snowball, just for lols, I guess. And yeah, that was the second deck. Alright, on to the third, I guess. Alright, so this is the third deck. It's basically just classic log bait with Mighty Miner in it instead of Valkyrie. That's honestly what it is. So, let's go. Alright, so we're in the battle. Let's just place Princess at the bridge to start. Get a little bit of chip damage and see what he has for us. Okay, he has a Wizard and a Balloon. Alright, so let's just place Inferno Tower and Electro Spirit just to counter that. Alright, we should be fine. Yep. Alright, perfect. Now let's just go Goblin Barrel to get a little bit more chip damage off. And also see if he has any spells. Okay, he has Fireball. Alright, so I'm going to split the Goblin Gang at the back. And if, does he play anything? Oh, he has Tornado. Alright, let's just place another Princess to the bridge then. Alright, so we're getting a little bit... Oh, okay. Let's just arrows that. Alright, it's good we as it's good we have minion horde. Or it's good he has minion horde. Because we have arrows to counter that minion horde. Let's go mighty miner in the back. Alright, what does he got for it? Does, is he just giving up again? Alright, he has mini P.E.K.K.A. Let's just rocket that. Because we can. Alright, he has a wizard now. Let's Goblin Barrel. Hopefully we can get a little bit of damage off with that Mighty Miner. Oh, he freezes the Goblin Barrel. That's a well played to you, sir. Um, is he going to go Balloon again? Nope. Alright, let's just Goblin Gang. Oh, he, he predict Tornadoes. That is... Oh, oh. Alright, that is a wow right there. Alright. Let's right, Princess the Bridge. And it's arrows again. He rages this time. That was a complete waste of two elixir. It was seven elixir on three. Let's just mighty miner the mini P.E.K.K.A. And does he freeze? Yes, he does. Alright, let's Goblin Gang. Perfect. Oh, he tornadoes. Forgot about that, but we still get it. Let's go Goblin Barrel again. Hopefully take down his tower. Alright, he goes Wizard. Princess to back. We should be alright. Is he going to place Balloon again? Yes, he does. Alright, it's just Inferno Tower, Mighty Miner. Alright, perfect. Does he place his Minion Horde again? Nope, Tornadoes. Let's just Goblin Barrel, and that should be Towered Down. He, oh, he, free he misses the Freeze. Alright, that is Towered Down. Ten seconds left, and alright. Looks like we won. He goes Balloon, let's just Inferno Tower. Perfect. Alright, guys. Yep, that was the third deck. And, uh, yeah. Great battle. Alright, guys. So those were the three decks I showcased today. They were all pretty cool, honestly. My personal favorite would have to be uh, number two. Because with the way we dominate with the Balloon and the Miner, your opponents just won't stand a chance if they don't have a solid tower or counter to your Balloon. But uh, let me know what you guys thought about these decks. And let me know if I should make more videos like this. Um, I guess that's it. Just like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.